Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I want to give you a really quick look at some of the new updates that just came out for Lightroom and that is both versions, Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic. In particular there is one kind of key new feature and that is the new improved automatic mode. Basically this means that Adobe is using their Sensei machine learning technology to allow you to um, click the auto button and it will intelligently analyze your image and kind of give you a quick overall best settings or what it thinks is the best settings. Lightroom has had an auto function for a while um, but this new version seems to be a lot better so let's just take a quick look. Now I'm going to be using uh, Lightroom CC for this just for a change uh, rather than Lightroom Classic but the, the functionality is kind of the same in both and also they've added curves back into Lightroom CC so uh, let's just take a quick look. So I have some images here I'm um, just kind of anything at random. These are just I was taking some photos of the Christmas decorations in Dublin City the other day so if I just pick one of these images and let me just pop over here to the develop mode or the edit mode to use the new terminology and up here you see the new auto button so if I just click that and as you can see the results not bad I mean it's not brilliant but it's not bad uh, so let's just pick a different one let's just pick another one of these so again I hit the auto button it's not bad for a kind of quick first pass uh, automatic settings and uh, if I click here now you can see the new cur tone curve options so this is pretty much the same as in Lightroom Classic uh, so you've got the kind of I'm not sure what they call this um, I think it's a parametric curve uh, or you can also hit and get a point curve and you can control the red green and blue levels separately as well okay and they've also added split toning which is here somewhere there we go, split toning. So this is kind of different as well. Um, I'm actually looking at this for the first time. So the interface is a bit different from what it used to be in Lightroom Classic, as you can see. Um, let me just find another image here. So let's just take this for example. And if I go back into edit mode and hit the auto again. So what it's doing is basically it's setting the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and so on and again the old version of Lightroom used to do this but it was never it was never brilliant uh, I never used to use it some people used to use it as a starting point but this is absolutely much better um, than it used to be so yeah that's pretty much it um, I haven't been particularly a biggest fan of Lightroom CC but they're slowly adding stuff onto it and uh, one thing's for sure it is faster than Lightroom Classic so maybe in a few versions time I might actually start using it more so um, but yeah in Lightroom Classic, the automatic function is pretty much the same. They've also added some additional masking tools, which I haven't really gone into yet. Um, it's not something they use that much anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you found this useful and give the video a thumbs up if you do. And check out my blog and the links will be below. And thanks and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.